Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are picking up where our last video left off, leaving Death Valley National Park. I think it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite national park, but definitely worth like a drive through. Mm -hmm. For sure. The landscape here is amazing. But we are going a little ahead of schedule because we uh, kind of skipped one national park because <laughs> we didn't realize it'd be so snowy. So uh, makes good sense. We are going to head to Las Vegas today. We don't have a hotel, so we'll see if we can do that. Also, <laughs> this rental car, <laughs> Strike 3, <laughs> this rental car has given us some like weird, really weird like funking noises when we stop sometimes intermittently. And it might not be a big issue at all because other times it stops just fine. But, no. I don't know. On a rental, uh, I don't think it's safe. Also, they are, uh, well, let me show you. 68,614 miles on the odometer. And although I recognize completely, like, these are not always accurate, that's about 20,000 miles ago since they last had an oil change on this poor car. Ooh, some boondockers out here. Fun. Some nice rigs. We're going to go ahead and enjoy the drive into Las Vegas. It's all beautiful scenery. Hopefully you guys are also enjoying it. And uh, then we'll see what we can do about a hotel and maybe swap in the car. And and then, yeah, it's officially, uh, officially shorts weather as well. <laughs> Let's go. tell you what there are a lot of people uh, <laughs> here. it's like it is a Wednesday was it Wednesday at what noon 12 30 and it's packed here it's weird coming to Las Vegas we've never come into Las Vegas from the west uh, yeah it, it's like all like a uh, suburban now like well, we came from the west brand new developments like south yeah usually well usually we kind of uh, also some of the worst drivers I've ever seen. Some of the worst drivers. But the other interesting thing about bad driving is these roads are like 35 mile an hour roads, but they're extremely wide. Yeah. Like we have a, like Highway 99 and uh, it goes up and down Washington. Even in Oregon, they have a 99. And it's not, it's not that wide. I don't, know. I don't know what it is, but for a 35 miles an hour, but they don't have a lot of bike lanes here, which is an interesting thing. So we'll see folks, but they've got to like go in and out of traffic. It kind of sucks. Kind of, that's scary. People still be 35 miles an hour, right? But like, they'll still be going 50, 55. Yeah. Ah. Anywho, every, uh, every Costco and Walmart, just a, just a little bit different. It's those subtleties that kind of make it a fun experience to like stretch your legs in the store. Oh man. All right. Let's see what they're up to today. Maybe it's not like pre-Christmas shopping. I bet you that's what it is. Hmm. Crazy. Man, the clothing selection here, way better than any other Costco we've been in. And they even have like nicer uh, like jackets, vests, hoodies. I wouldn't really expect that from Vegas, but I love it. And uh, they got more of the, the size, every size. I love it. Oh, it's great. But how's this gonna be better than Kirkland, right? Like, the original store, better than the Woodenville store? Oh, 
It's better than the Seattle store by far. That's a, ah, it's crazy. Good stuff. Love Vegas. <laughs> ah, okay, two pairs of pants. We'll try. See, I don't know about you guys, but I always tried the Costco pants. They never quite fit right. They're like, well, I don't consider myself to have like fat legs, like chunky legs, but uh, apparently according to Costco, I do. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Ah, but it's, uh, it's nice, man. They got they're the right size and everything. Hmm. Good shopping experience. Actually, the, the workers there are so nice. I do notice though, everything in the store is a little bit shorter. Like we felt really tall in there, which is interesting, but you either get like the nicest people here or you get like people are in a huge hurry. Yeah. There's like no in between though. There's like you either have chill or you have no chill. <laughs> like no, no. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, it is. Boy, they have everything around here. That's for sure. And it, I was asking, I was like, why is it so freaking busy? And he goes, it's because we they just have those new developments in out here. I guess the store has been in for five years and they were pretty slow at first. More development, more customers. Yeah. Makes sense. Simple economics. of rental cars has taken another wild turn. They're uh, letting us swap it, no problem. We're getting uh, another Chevy. <laughs> it's the biggest thing they have available for us, which is fine, whatever, as long as it drives all right. But I'm telling you, that's shaking. Uh, we got a little video of it, but it's like dunk, 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 dunk. So, uh, and it's only a higher speed, so I don't know if it's like a bad bearing of sorts, or uh, maybe one of like the uh, brake pads was knocked loose somewhere? I don't know. But uh, we're getting a trailblazer. That's the trailblazer. Not weird. I don't know if you guys remember the old trailblazer, but uh, it was a little bigger than this guy. Big deal, that's just a Rolls Royce Phantom, I think. Alrighty guys, so if you didn't know, every time we come to Las Vegas, we stay at the Flamingo. Just love the Flamingo. Uh, part of it is like price, but also it's just like really, it's a nice hotel. This is the nicest room we've had at the Flamingo. So check out these digs. We've got a king size bed, nice flamingo lamp. Love the flamingo lamps. <laughs> but it's actually decently comfortable. You got a nice lounger. For you, for you freaks, you got a good view of the bed. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that view includes the flamingos down there. There's a little zoo. Terrible lighting out here. Uh, but there's a little zoo down there that has all sorts of animals. That's pretty neat. It's called the exhibit the exhibit sam and colt are having a great time and the shower is fantastic in here it's a very clean room 
If you guys recall, we've had some weird sort of iffy situations with uh, hotels in the past. And we've been having some iffiness with uh, cars <laughs> this trip. Uh, but thankfully, it seems like the cars are all fixed up. Fingers crossed that one will get us back without any issues or weirdness and we won't die. And this room is awesome. They even pulled out all the stuff for the dogs. They did. Uh, yeah, we got in here. They, they uh, gave us little treats, a little, little care package, uh, bowls, and uh, there was something else. There's like a little placemat and a little pet in the room sign for the door. How nice is that? We are star I'm starving. Yeah, I'm very hungry. We have not eaten all day. Let's go do a little exploring on the town real quick, uh, find something to eat. We're going to head towards the Hard Rock Cafe and just see if we find anything better along the way. I know there's a lot of good spots to eat, but we're not trying to, trying to blow the budget. <laughs> Not day one, yeah. at least. <laughs> yeah. Do we do have a uh, bougie uh, buffet lined up though? Uh, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know we love buffets. Man, there's so much to see out here. I like that. They're still using the rotary lights. So this is Gordon Ramsay Burger, and they are uh, they got a little line going on here. Ooh. But uh, the, yeah, that flame. That's kind of a neat little uh, display there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Inspiration for an RV. Oh wow. It's all about the lights. That seems to be the ticket. Seems like as long as you put some lights on the outside of your RV, make them flash, we could just circle the RV with some uh, LED lights. Joel is a light whore. I am a bit of a light whore. <laughs> we could also coat the RV in <laughs> big TVs. That, I don't think these are big enough TVs. We need bigger. Can you imagine? Woo. All right, Hard Rock Cafe should be right over here. Woo, the confidence that dude has. Driving like such. Goodness gracious. Uh, there should be a guitar over here somewhere. Where'd it go? There we go. We love that they always have uh, really cool memorabilia and stuff. All right, let's see if they got any spots for us. Hey, that way. Fun. Put it on our order, burger, chicken, but the, my favorite part, the last time we, uh, we went to the one in LA, uh, actually in Hollywood, yeah. and they've got all of the, uh, the guitars from the famous folks and some of the outfits. We're sitting at the Joe Walsh table. He was a pretty great uh, guitarist. Let's see what else. REO Speedwagon, that's a pretty guitar. REO Speedwagon there. Eve Howe, not heard of him. Paul Stanley from KISS. Chris Kale, Five Finger Death Punch, plus some of the bassist there. Tom Petty. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's an interesting bass. Wow. That's kind of unique. Maroon 5's Ryan Busick. I wonder how many guitars these folks go through. Like, do they even remember the guitar or care about it? You know what I mean? So that's kind of cool. That was a Madonna thing. I think that she's a little polarizing, so you either love it or hate it. That's an interesting one. Oh, from uh, Mick Ralph from Bad Company. That's a cool shit. You know what? I feel like we need to up our Hawaiian shirt. Game. I didn't even bring your, your Hawaiian shirts. I did not. I did. Oh, by the way, the other day Emma was wearing a Hawaiian shirt because it was beach day. <laughs> it was the beach last day. day of school before break was called it was beach day. So funny. Yeah. Panic at the Disco. That's a pretty good one. And another Panic at the Disco vest. And they have all sorts of outfits. Let's see, Ma Mary Wilson, Mariah Carey's, whoa, that's bedazzled. Whoa. A design inspo for some of you guys. Amy Winehouse, kind of a similar dress. Whew. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look good? Well, this is a, <laughs> this is the first time I've ever, it's like a double chicken patty? Yeah. 
Perfect. So good. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Okay. How do you feel about that? This is so good. That is this the, is the best chicken sandwich I have ever tasted. It's like the Alex Messi chicken sandwich. It's like double chicken, some really good sauce, <laughs> arugula, cheese. The cheese is like yeah. whatever it is. It's so damn good. And the sauce is really good. Like this is just a really good chicken sandwich. The double patty is like the most ridiculous sounding thing, but they also have a hamburger sauce. I don't remember it being this good in uh, LA, but uh, mm -hmm. this is great. This is great. Oh, so good. So good. Oh man, not disappointing. And for Vegas, not terrible price wise. But uh, we are gonna go upstairs, check out a little bit more uh, Sammy Davis Jr. here. Look at those pants. Ooh, those are intense. Got a little Elvis, some Elvis uh, records here. Huh. Elvis did a lot of. I feel like Elvis was really kind of the face of Vegas for, for quite a while, right? And the, the showgirls and... Yeah. Trevor Lawrence Jr. scoop down here. And it's Tico Torres Bon Jovi. Huh. That's our girl. This is John Tempesta from White Zombie. Huh. Oh, the doors got some... Bob Dylan's guitar. There's a jacket too. Huh. Oh. Pretty intense. Pretty intense. The doors. Oh man. I bet that. I'm sure worth a pretty penny. Eric Clapton's guitar? No way. That's cool. The fenders, alright. Wow, they have more here than the Hollywood one, which is really kind of surprising. What do we got? Jimi Hendrix and pants that oh, I still think I think people can always uh you can argue with me but I think Jimi Hendrix was the greatest guitar player of all times uh, uh Brian May from Queen P Diddy Sean Combs yeah that's about right Prince's guitar oh wow look at that Whew. interesting interesting oh sure <laughs> oh sure jeez man <laughs> Josh Rand from Stone Sour <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> Rage Against the Machines guitar. I'm kind of surprised that thing doesn't look like it has too many strike marks on it. That's a cool setup. Oh, Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page. <laughs> all right, all right. And then Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. Nice vest. It's cool. This even side. Oh man. Mega death. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I go to the other side of the street when I see people walking down the road <laughs> like that. Oh, but whoo, Alice Cooper. Oh man, that's cool. That's cool. That's <laughs> actual death. Maybe uh, left by a female admirer. I don't know. <laughs> the Alice Cooper uh, album. Oh man, I don't know about you guys, but I today's music sucks. We were just, we talk about this all the time actually. Every time we go on a road trip uh, mm -hmm. or anything, we have more than an hour where we're listening to music. Today's music sucks. Like it has, it just sucks. It's just produced and mm, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, no soul. Millie Vanilli. Yeah, those hammer pants are, hoo 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 hoo, boy. Man, I kind of like the, di like a disco ball sort of. Oh, mirrors there, yeah. Another Millie Vanilli. Huh. All right, Jerry Lee Lewis. Okay. Oh, is that Barry White's? That's a. See, and this is these are the kind of things like. That's just. It takes a real, a real man to pull that off. You know what I mean? Barry White. No, what a voice. Oh, or that. Oh. And he wasn't, you guys, you, you probably already know, but Barry White wasn't like a misogynistic piece of crap. You know what I mean? Like, he seemed to love women. You know, he didn't, what a, what a cool deal here. What a cool deal. Steven Tyler's uh, Aerosmith, wow, look at that. That is, that's neat. Bruce Springsteen. Oh, we got more over here? What is this? The Temptations. Ooh. I feel like we saw a street performer earlier today wearing mm -hmm. something very similar. 
The Eiley brothers? What in the heck? That's weird. That is really weird. Okay. Early 50s. Hmm. This was Elvis's Golden Eagle belt. Uh, like, how do you get these? Like, is it... I wonder if, if there's, there's a... Somebody just tells these folks, like, hey, you know, it's worth more than just money. There's a chapel here. Oh, can we go in? Oh, I love that. It. It's a. All right. Oh, wow. What else you got in here? Okay. This would be cool to get married. Okay. I Turner's guitar. All right. I can Tina Turner up there. Let's see. Oh, that's a. All right. There's Tina Turner's dress. Courtney Love formed the band Hole in Love. Oh, I don't want to talk about it, but <clears throat> Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain, you know, got strong feelings about about that. We did a lot of mm. the late Kurt Cobain, lead singer and guitarist of the band Nirvana, married Courtney Love in Hawaii in '92. This Tantra Classic '91 '98 guitar was signed by his band. Hmm. I used to have one actually very similar to this. But it had steel strings, and it had uh, somebody had smashed it, and it was put back together with wood glue and polyurethane, and uh, it had sounded terrible. And we called it the ganjo, and that's how I learned to play the guitar. Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Oh, what a band! This would be a pretty cool a little neon sign. That would be pretty neat to to have. Dusty Hill, Billy Gibbons, Frank Beard. What names? What names for these fellas? I imagine it's just their stage names, but... Alrighty guys, we are gonna head back to the hotel room and because it's so dark out, probably not gonna be too much to show. But, thank you for watching, I hope you had fun. We've got a lot of exploring here in Vegas to do and uh, maybe just in the surrounding area as well, we'll see. See you in the next video, guys. Bye guys. Bye.